Let's go over some useful tools and shortcuts in Toon Boom. To pan across the screen, you can hold down spacebar. And you can move left, right, up and down, anywhere you'd like. To zoom in and out, you actually use the number keys 1 and 2. So if I hit 1, I zoom out. And if I hit 2, I zoom in on the viewport. Now, zooming in and out also works in the timeline menu window. So if I select the the timeline and make it the active window. If I hit two, you can see that the frames appear larger. And if I hit one, they they uh, zoom out and appear smaller. You can also achieve that by dragging the slider down here to make the frames larger and smaller. Uh, so depending on which window you have selected, it will affect either the timeline window or the um, camera window. So you can tell what the active window is by uh, the red highlighted border. Whatever is in highlighted red is the active window. So I'm going to go back to the camera view now. And when I hit one and two, it will zoom in and out of the camera view. Uh, another useful shortcut is uh, rotating, rotating the view. So if you hold down Control and Alt, you get this uh, turntable thing here that kind of recalls back to traditional animating. Uh, so you can rotate it, and if you have a certain angle you like to draw at, this can be very useful and handy to get um, the drawing stroke angle that you want. It can be very helpful for cleanup and whatnot. Let's say you want to reset the rotation, then you can hit Shift X, and that will reset the rotation. Um, another useful shortcut is, let's say you were working and somehow you zoomed into a wrong spot and you have no idea where you are right now in your workspace. To reset your workspace view, you can hold down Shift M, and it will take you back to your main drawing area. And I'll just zoom out a little bit so we can see the field of view. Probably the most important tools you'll need for traditional 2D animation are the drawing tools. So for this video, I'm going to show you the brush tool. You can select the brush tool from the main toolbar right here. And this is the brush tool, and you can see that under the Tool Properties menu, now for this right menu, I often have it set to Tool Properties just so that I can see what other options there are for the tool I've selected. And you can see that depending on the tool you've selected, so this is the Select tool, the Tool Property options will change. And so when you select the Select tool, these are the additional options you have for that tool. But let's go to the Brush tool. So under Tool Properties, you can um, adjust the size of the, of the brush. You can adjust the smoothing. You can also choose from different brush options to draw with. So depending on you know, what you prefer, you can choose different ways of drawing. So for myself, I prefer the soft brush. This seems to me to have the nicest drawing experience and it kind of feels most like the pencil tool, but you can experiment with um, what you prefer. With the brush tool selected, you can access other tools dynamically. So for example, um, let's say we have the brush tool selected and I'm making some marks. Okay. So if you hold down O what, with the brush tool selected, holding down O, you can actually dynamically resize the size of your brush. So I've just made this larger and if I hold down O and drag uh, left, I'm making the mark um, smaller. So this is with holding down uh, O while you drag left and right on the screen. If you hold down Control with the brush tool selected, you can actually select different parts of the drawing by just swiping through or circling um, the desired uh, select area. If you hold down E, you can erase while in the brush tool. Another useful tool is the select tool, which is the black arrow on the main toolbar. Um, alternatively, you could hit Alt S, which is the keyboard shortcut for the select tool. Um, you're in the select tool when your cursor turns into a, it looks like a little lasso. Uh, you can select things by either just swiping through it, um, or you can select it by drawing a big um, circle around the selected area. Now when you select something, like let's say I just wanted to select the head, and you can see that I'm lassoing the entire area, 
it actually selects any stroke that you that the uh, select tool kind of comes across. So because I sw swiped through the um, the body, it kind of connected the two and made it one selection. So sometimes it's a little easier to just swipe through that part uh, that you want selected. And you can also tell that the select tool basically just selects um, per stroke. So you can tell that I made the head in one stroke, the body in another, the arms in another. Now if you want to add to a selection, so let's say I selected the head, I can hold down shift and select again and it will add to my selection. Select again, um, you know, selecting the, the legs and then you can select the body or alternatively you can just lasso the whole thing like I did earlier. And these are the different ways you can select um, items on the screen. Uh, once selected, you can rotate by just adjusting the bounding box. You can scale and move different, you know, the the thing any kind of differently. If you hold down Shift, it'll do it proportionally, resize. But you can play around with that. So let me just go back, and that's basically um, the select tool. Now, a word about shortcuts. Coming from a Photoshop background, Toon Boom shortcuts might seem a little bizarre. I thought so at first. At first I was like, one and two to zoom, what the nut, right? But then I realized shortcuts seem to be assigned so they could be keyed with one hand so that the other hand could always be ready to draw. Then the shortcuts made more sense and I could see how useful they were for an efficient workflow. So if you're coming from an Adobe background and you used to shortcuts a certain way, just remember that um, I think Toon Boom was designed so that you could shortcut, uh, hit shortcut keys with one hand and draw with the other, and that does make for a more efficient workflow.